Oh man, I'm having to crawl through trees like a mother. Goodness. Ugh. This is awesome. Awesome little hunt. Hey, <laughs> What up everybody and welcome back to another one. Today, well, I, I guess you guessed it. Yeah, another duck hunt. Who would have known? <laughs> but today we're gonna be headed to uh, my buddies in Wichita. I don't know if you guys know where Wichita is, but it's Ross's place. We have hunted there one other time. And let me tell you what, he has pit blinds around the pond. And I'm not sure if we're actually gonna be in the pit blind today. We might be sitting in cattails, but I know that there's a lot of green heads there and that's all I care about. So yeah, there's gonna be like three of us, four of us at max. It is 32 degrees. Wind is south southwest at 8 to 13 mile an hour today, which is pretty darn good. Not bad conditions considering at all. But before we get on the road, I gotta tell you guys, the 25% off Black Friday sales for duckswaterfowl.com is still going on. And let me tell you, today is my favorite sale of the entire gig, and that is hoodies. Yep. Today and today only, 25% off all Ducks hoodies. So if you've been like, man, I just can't afford full price for that hoodie that I want, or maybe I have one, but I want that other one, but I can't afford the other one, well, now's your time to do it. You need to go down in the description below, click the Ducks hoodie link, and you will receive 25% off all Ducks hoodies. Isn't that a heck of a deal? So you guys don't want to miss out on this. Again, go down in the description below, click the link, go pick yourself up a couple hoodies because you're going to be saving yourself a lot of jack today. But uh, I hope, I really, really hope you guys have been enjoying uh, the Black Friday sales. I think uh, here at Ducks, we were really excited. We've been very excited to offer you guys all these sales. I mean, just tons and tons and tons of sales. So. I hope you guys have been really taking advantage of it. I hope you guys have went to the website the last few days and picked up something you wanted and saved yourself some money. That's what this thing's all about is to save all of our fans, all of our viewers some money for a week-long sale. But we have uh, about a 35-40 minute drive. Greenheads are waiting on us, boys, and uh, it's going to be a fun one. AKA business to me, just they well, we are here. This is uh, Ross's place. Like I said, we've been here one other time, and let me tell you, it is just a beautiful, beautiful property. I mean, gorgeous property. I'm jealous of it every time I come out here. If you haven't followed Ross, you need to. Follow him right here on uh, Instagram. He's a good kid, man, and uh, a good friend, too. Shout out to Preston and Ross. They always take care of me and always invite me on their uh, private land duck hunts whenever they're in town from school. They both go to K-State, so shout out to all the K-Staters out there. So I know you can't see me, but I'll got, I want you guys to listen a minute. Listen to all these green heads on here. Oh man, I hope I caught enough of that uh, audio, but as you guys can tell, this is very, very small water. Uh, the last video we did, what was it, Thursday's video? That was a big water hunt. Today's a small water hunt, and this little bitty honey hole is just stacked. It's gonna be fun. Well, we are out here, and check this out. This is, this is sweet. We're just standing in these trees here. I'm over here. We got old Evan dog over here. We got old Ross Daddy over yonder, and we're just standing underneath these uh, little canopy of trees. We only put out two dozen floaters, but we have like three to four little butt uh, butt squirters, and just a really natural, natural, natural little spread with a lot of motion. We're not running a spinner decoy, just uh, butt squirters. We do have flock of flickers and the old paddler over here, but it is shooting light, obviously. Let's get to spraying and praying. Here we go, first single. Go ahead. Nice shooting. Yeah, it's yeah. a diver. Heck of a diver there, Ross. Heck of a diver. Yeah, I think Ross a big diver guy. Yeah, Ross is a big diver guy for if sure. It, if, if it's a diving duck, I'm going to shoot regardless. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it all along, little Ross. He's a diver killing machine. But uh, this, is, this is about as close to an old Kansas timber hunt as you can get. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, hey, yeah, give me that foot action over there. Oh, 
Give me that foot action. Oh yeah, there you go. Stir up that water. Yeah, you know us. We uh, just out here doing doing duck things. <laughs> Oh, single just doing it hardcore. It's probably another diver. Oh, you guys dropped him before I pulled the old trigger. Yeah, that's a diver again. Look at that, Ross. I almost lost my whole Yeah, he's dead now. Oh, boy. Two more. They're just coming right down the pipe. Smoke them as they go over. Oh! Can't believe I got him. Two green heads behind him. It's okay, we'll shoot the divers. <laughs> I can't believe I made that shot, dude. I was like, ew, all the way dude, back I here. We were oh, oh, man. I, I shot like that. Let's shoot them, boys. Let's shoot them. <laughs> Three more coming at us. <laughs> ah, another high shooter. Well, we suck again. You suck. You, it's you. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna go find the old diver I dropped back here. I'm pretty sure it was a diver. Let's go see. Look at this though. This is a little Kansas timber hunt, man. It is, it is sweet. Awesome little place. You get him? Yep, they got him. Good shot. Oh man, I'm having to crawl through trees like a mother. Goodness. Ugh. This is awesome. Awesome little hunt. Oh, they're going to shoot him. Greenhead. Smoke him. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? He was right in your face. Oh, baloney! Right here. Man, they're doing that same thing. They're... Yeah, if we sat over there, we would have a lot more shots for sure. Well, we're moving. We're sitting over here now. We moved like, I don't know, half a dozen decoys, a couple butt squirters, and uh, the birds are wanting to work over here a lot more. So we're going to give it a whack, see if it works. Well, ended up moving, I don't know, about 20 10 yards. Feet. Yeah, 10 feet, 20 yards to the right. The birds are getting down, they're swinging real low on the right side and then they're picking up as they come towards us. So we pulled some of the decoys from uh, over here. What we did is we put them over yonder and there's a little cove that runs back to the right that we stuffed, I don't know, probably four or five decoys and a uh, flock of flicker in. So we're gonna see if we can actually get them a little lower on this side. I think they like it a little more. Oh yeah, two coming in. Oh my goodness, yes. Smoke him. What the heck? I never shell him my gun. We can't kill a greenhead to save our lives, boys. What? what are we doing here? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, dude. They were hard work. I mean, they worked good. But I think those first two passes, when they were right we gotta, here, we gotta, shoot them when we gotta shoot them on the first two passes for sure. Cause after that, they just start getting higher and higher and higher. Smoke. He's wounded, he going down. Boom, he down. That's a green head boys, that's a green head. Single coming in boys. Oh, he's just eating it up. is all kinds of dead whoop nice shot dude that was a high shot dude yeah. i didn't have a shell in my gun you didn't have a shell in your gun <laughs> sitting here trying to do a midday update for you guys and we just missed out on a green head so i don't know it's about nine o'clock and we're having singles just trickle back here they're not wanting to go feet down so we're busting them at about 20 yard shot as they're passing over so 
there's something in the decoys or something they just don't want to put the landing gear down. So uh, the shots aren't bad, but we're going to have to move to the right just a hair more to get a better shot. Oh my god. Not one. One. Boom. Oh, that was you down there. I Man, took my time on the shooting, but it didn't work out very well. Oh, he's dead. You guys smoked him right before I pulled the trigger. Good shot. Well, I think we got, I don't know, two, three, four green heads down now. Uh, I'll show you one of them here. They're all just studs. I mean, these are all mature birds. Look at that guy. I mean, look at the back colors on them. Holy smokes. Look how fat this guy's head is. I mean, look, I got big old hands. That is big. That's a big bird. Nice bird. Lucky shot. That what, dude, that was a heck of a shot. Yeah. He turned around and did you shot through the tree, didn't you? I shot you? through the trees and then he got real high and I shot like <laughs> through there. It's going good. The birds that want to be here are finally coming back. The birds that really want to be here, the birds that's been staying here. And uh, we could tell because that those two just gave it up. They went full feet down. That's really the, the best that we've had all day right there. Well, I had to uh, put the GoPro 3 Plus on because my five died on me. That's one bad thing about these fives, the batteries don't last very long. So if you like this GoPro better than the last one or vice versa, let me know down in the comments down below. It'd be real helpful if you did. Here we go. Here's a pair, a green head and a, and a Susie. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, <laughs> he should have been your bird, but I'm like, hey man, I need to shoot me a greeny head. <laughs> that was kind of a far shot too. That wasn't bad. Yeah, one in the hands better than two in the bush. Oh man. Man, I was right behind him. He got to this tree and it just messed me up. Darn it. deep Ross <laughs> this little pond gets so deep so fast taking on any water there yet shooter McGavin I'm always wet, Bob. oh goodness <laughs> but you guys know what to do if you're liking this little Kansas timber hunt that we're doing here I know it's not like full-blown timber but you don't get much more timber in Kansas than this if you're liking it drop your boy a big old thumbs up nice Nice shooting. Oh, well, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the GoPro footage. I've been wanting to shoot. There's been a lot of videos in the past that you guys have really liked that I've ran the big camera, but on these two, three, four man hunts, there's just not many shooters. So that's when your boys got to pick up the gun like always. I'm a hunter before I'm a filmer. So I hope you guys appreciate the uh, shooting. But we're picking up. It's probably 1030. We've waited it out. We've had singles trickle in. That's really what this hunt consisted of was just singles and doubles and singles. The ones we shot were pretty much singles that got low enough. Good little hunt. I love hunts where the singles just keep trickling. That's where it becomes a lot of fun and you really kill them. But we're going to start picking up. I'll pick up the camera here in just a sec. Well, we are all picked up, and I want to show you something. I got a couple mallards here, and look at these four drake mallards. I mean, we shot some stud drakes today. Look at all of these guys. Just massive heads on them. Every single one of them. Just mature, mature studs. I mean, isn't that awesome? Every one of them. Beautiful, big old boys. Look at the colors on them. Look at this guy's... Uh, Look at that guy's curls. He's got a big old fat double curl. Another double. That guy's got a double. Just absolutely studly Drake Mallards. It's crazy. But I want to show you, uh, now that the sun's up, kind of the whole ordeal here. So this is really where a lot of the ducks were roosting this morning. We didn't bump them off too hard. We waited until uh, sunrise. We let them lift naturally. But this is where we were sitting, way down in that timber. And then they had this big open water in front of us. And luckily they're coming over them trees and going 
right in front of us. A lot of the shots we were having to shoot above this, uh, above these trees and some of them fell over here. But what an awesome shoot. The singles, I love hunts where just single drakes just come one after another after another. The drakes really gave it up. It was funny, they, they'd come in pairs with a drake and a hen and it seemed like usually how it goes over field hunting, the hens really give it up first. But this time today it was different. The drakes would actually undercut the, the hens and get lower than them and actually we were able to take more shots on drakes because of that. So that's where we were sitting right there and we downed a green head over here on this side of the bank and we we're like you know what he's dead he crashed hard guarantee you he's lights out let's get him when we uh, leave and we get over here and up in this tree right here there was a hawk sitting during almost the entire hunt. Check this out the hawk ate the green head and there is the hawk's turd with bones in it what the heck? Got a big old blood spot here and everything. Never had a hawk eat a green head during a hunt. Have you guys ever had that happen? If you have, drop a comment down below. Thought that was really interesting and something that you guys would probably want to see. Oh, Rossi, thank you. Anytime, Bob. It was a good little timber hunt. It was pretty fun. It was. It was those, nice. were just, those were some stud green heads. It was pretty nice. Oh, yeah. A little slow, a little hot. Yeah. Nice. The morning did start out slow. We, we waited a little while and uh, they started trickling back in those ones and twos. That's where it becomes a lot of fun. Shooting becomes a lot easier. You're not trying to spray into wads and pick a bird. When you have that single to aim at, boom, he's gonna go down. But I thank you guys for all being here. If you guys haven't yet, remember, all the Ducks hoodies today are 25% off. You need to go down in the description below, click the link, and go pick you up an olive hoodie, a brown hoodie, a white hoodie, all the hoodies, every one of them on the site, 25% off but thank you guys again subscribe if you have it if you have any questions about this video drop them down below i'll get to them but we will see you on the next one